Hey, what's going on guys? CTA Prime back here again. Today I received my Pi desktop from Element 14. This is a really cool Raspberry Pi case that comes with a hat and it supports MSATA SSD. It doesn't come with the Pi and it doesn't come with your SATA drive either. I picked up 120 gigabyte MSATA locally for 40. The kit itself is 57 bucks from Element 14. I'll leave the link in the description if you wanna check it out. But in this video, we're just gonna put it together it does have this top with a power button built in, and I guess the power button hits the button on the hat itself. It says it's a safe shutdown button, but I really don't see how it can be safe without a script. I could be wrong here. So it comes with these standoffs here that sit on top of the Pi and on top of the board itself, plus two screws for the M SATA, your USB to micro USB, a heat sink for the Pi, and a little battery to hold the time and everything in the hat. Here's the top and the bottom to the unit itself. So this is where the magic happens. Here's where your M SATA goes. Power button here. I'll flip this over. So over here is where our battery goes to keep the time. And this will sit right on top of the GPIO pins on your Raspberry Pi 3. We also have two micro USB ports. One is for power, one is to program your M SATA from this board itself. So you can flash an image to the SATA drive. It looks simple enough to put together. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it together. First up, we'll throw the battery on the hat itself. It goes in there just like that. We're gonna throw the M SATA, and turn it around. And it did come with two screws for the SATA drive. Before I opened the kit, I was actually searching for some screws that would fit this because I didn't think the kit would come with them. Go ahead and get this SATA in place. It's just two screws here. You don't have to tighten them down too much. You're not gonna be throwing this box around. I mean, you might, but I'm not gonna be doing it. So everything on the hat is finished. I'm gonna throw the heatsink on the Pi 3. It's an aluminum heatsink with some thermal adhesive on the bottom. It's pretty beefy compared to the little Chinese ones you buy on eBay. I don't think it's gonna make much of a difference anyway. Now it's time to mount the Pi inside of the bottom of the case. It fits really nice. All ports are accessible. So we'll just take the longer standoffs and screw them into all four holes on the pie itself. It's time to put the pie desktop hat on. It'll just connect right here to the GPIO pins. Make sure it's nice and snug. And there's four more standoffs that will screw into the top to keep everything secure in the case. Everything fits really good. Element 14 is really good about nice products. There is a spot for a fan to clip in here, but the fan I have is a little big. This didn't come with the kit. This is just one I had laying around. So I'm gonna skip that for now. So this is where I was really disappointed with the kit. All it's doing is really connecting that M SATA to a USB port. So if you have an external powered hard drive, you can do the same thing. If you have a USB stick, you can do the same thing. Power button's cool. LED looks really nice with that Element 14 logo on it. Getting an operating system to boot directly from the hard drive without an SD card is a bit of a task, but it can be done. The easiest way to go about it right now is to download Noobs or Berry Boot and install to the drive inside of the unit itself. You will still need an SD card inserted at all times. There are ways around this. You can use Raspbian Pixel without an SD card now, but it takes a little bit of setting up. If you already have a RetroPie image, you can flash that directly to the hard drive, but you're still going to need the SD card to boot. So this is pretty much a glorified Raspberry Pi case with an M SATA slot. I would suggest getting a flirt case and a Western Digital Pi drive. You can get way more storage for cheaper and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same speed because we're only running off the USB speed right now. Like always, thanks for watching.